So today's going to be Ukraine, win or lose. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So all the speculation is, uh, you know, would there be war? So. I guess we know now. And let's see what the cards have to say about the rest of this. So Golden Universal Tarot. These are great cards. This is another Los Scarabio. Uh, like I say, it must be a sweatshop of Let's Make Tarot cards back at that place. Um, the guidebook is just your typical couple languages. Uh, not too tiny to read, which is what I'm concerned with, but nothing <coughs> um, you know, astounding uh, revealed in that. But the cards, they're really great, and of course, what's what's neat about them is that they're kind of gilded. You know what? Let me turn off the main light that I've got here in the room because I think it sheds a little uh, too much uh, shine on these cards. But uh, you can see that they're pretty much the typical Rider Waite depictions, just uh, gilded and golded up, and uh, really make them interesting uh, to look at. And after all, if you're looking at tarot cards every day. Uh, no matter why, whether you're looking at readings or whether you're doing the readings, you know, if you can shake it up with something that's a little interesting to look at, I think that's great. And of course, like I always say, I lay them out like this for two reasons. One, it's an interesting way to get your cards mixed up and shuffled. And if you're working with someone else, you can let them do this and kind of get their energy in the cards. And But the most important reason for me is because when I was just watching uh, the videos, I like to see uh, what the cards look like. Um, and you never got the chance to do that. So here they are, Golden Universal Tarot, uh, Los Scarabio. Love these cards. Okay, so this is going to be the Ukraine. Uh, Russia has got them surrounded on all sides, on the water and uh, all three other sides. So my question in general is Ukraine win or lose. I think we're going to do this at one big Celtic cross. Ukraine win or lose. But before we do that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. So Ukraine, win or lose. Ukraine, win or you lose. Ukraine, win or lose. Ukraine, win or lose. As I'm making this video, it's um, February 15th. And um, so this is... Uh, Tuesday, February 15th, and we'll see how this goes. Ukraine, win or lose. Six cards first, and then another four to finish the Celtic Cross at the end. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ukraine, win or lose. Today is February 15th, Tuesday. Ukraine, Win or lose with Russia. The signifier card for this is the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. And uh, since we're talking about Ukraine, I'm going to say this is Ukraine. So Ukraine is uh, represented in, with the signifier card of the Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are value. They can be money, but I think they're value here. And uh, being left out in the cold, not able to get into shelter. The challenge to that then is the four of uh, pentacles. Pentacles again are uh, money or value. And um, you know, I'm torn for this card. I, I want to say, trying to hold on to what you've got. Um, 
in one hand, I want to say this is Ukraine trying to hold on to their sovereignty. But on the other hand, the fierce look in this king's uh, face here just makes me think of uh, Putin and Russia. So for it's this uh, being left out in the cold is challenged by holding on to what you've got. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this uh, works out as we progress. <clears throat> the base of this reading, then, is this king of wands. Okay, so wands are uh, plans, uh, actions, forward movement. And uh, so this king of wands is steadfast with a sturdy grip on that large wand and leaning forward as if to say, I'm ready to make a move, as a king would say. Again, I can't decide if this is Russia or the Ukraine. I'm leaning towards Russia. The past to this reading is the... Uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, so wands are, um, again, plans, actions, forward moving. The knight is the fellow in the suit of wands uh, who's going to fight for his uh, whatever charge he's been given. He's been given the charge of this uh, plan, of this action. For me, this is the Ukraine. This is a youngish uh, looking person, um, uh, really ready to trot right off into battle. The sky of this reading then is this king of cups so the king of cups is compassion uh, or the cups are compassion emotion uh, heartfelt situations and so this king of cups again is um he's relaxed in his in his seat here but he does lean forward uh, uh clasping onto that compassion in one hand and with a plan in his other hand and we can see in the background of this card there's an ocean with ships on the ocean I don't want to say this is Russia just because of the compassion element, but I am leaning towards feeling like this is Russia, saying, uh, I've got this little bit of compassion here, but I've got a plan that's foremost. Um, but we'll see uh, how this comes out in the end. And then the final uh, for this, <clears throat> this first part of this uh, full Celtic cross, is the Five of Wands. Wands are, again, are actions, plans. Uh, and, but this is, um, these folks here are fighting. But they're not fighting to the death. This is just a, a complication. This is an inconvenience. This is a struggle. This is a, um, um, you know, some people in here trying to say, no, I did this. No, you did that. No, I did this. No, you did that. So this is the likely outcome for all this first part is this Five of Wands. And I'm still going to reserve a final judgment for who these symbols might be referring to until we finish the Celtic Cross. Okay, the last four cards in this uh, full Celtic Cross for Ukraine, win or lose, the um, self of that question ah, is a new journey. Okay, so this is the full uh, starting off on a new journey. Just going to leave that right there for right now. The uh, environment that that's in, this new journey, Ah, lots of issues coming at the same time. Okay, this looks to me like uh, the situation with Russia. This Eight of Wands. The hopes and the fears. Okay, this Queen of Wands is a queen. Again, wands are uh, actions, plans, forward movement. And this queen is a little less severe than the base of this reading, this king. So this queen of wands is uh, steadfast. She's got her plan, but she doesn't quite have all the authority uh, that she that she might have if she were this king. That's the hopes and the fears. <clears throat> and then the final outcome for all of this with this uh, 10, 11 is justice. This is justice will prevail. So I'll say that um, with this card, I'm going to say that the Ukraine is going to come out on top of this. So I'm going to go over this again, and uh, let's see how this works out <clears throat> in real life. The signifier of this card is, will Ukraine win or lose, is being feel, feeling or being left out in the cold. This is being left out in the cold. Okay, This is the Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are value, uh, worth, um, not usually money, but it could be money involved in this. But this is the Ukraine feeling left out in the cold. Now, they're challenged by, I think this is... Um, I think this is both Russia and the Ukraine, this Four of Pentacles. This Four of Pentacles is telling me that Ukraine is trying to hold on to what they've got. And um, this uh, Four of Pentacles for Russia is, is showing me the stubbornness they have for what they think that belongs to them. But I think it's more Ukraine, holding on to what you've got. In the base of this reading, we have this um, 
king of wands, which for me is Russia threatening. This this king is holding this plan, and he's leaned forward in a threatening manner. So this is Russia right here at the base of all of this. They started this issue. Russia's at the base of this. In the past of this reading, we have this knight of wands. This is the Ukraine ready to fight for what they've got. Um, okay. And in, then in the sky of this reading, we have this um, king of cups. And I also feel like this is Russia kind of saying to them, oh, I've got a little compassion for you, but I've got this plan that I'm ready to launch. And we've got the water and the ships in the background of that card. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this is just more arguing, okay? More arguing, not to the death, but more uh, discourse. Then we say, uh, what's the very self of this question? The very self of this question is a new journey. So I'm going to say that this is the Ukraine starting off on some new liberated journey. The... Um, environment that it's in is all these issues, all these plans that they're facing all around all their borders. The hopes of the fears, <clears throat> the hopes is that uh, this queen, is that this king, Russia, with a plan, becomes this queen, Russia, with a, a smaller effect, a smaller, less effective plan. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that there will be justice, there will be balance, there will be some sort of a karmic balance here. And I believe this is telling me that Ukraine is going to come out on top in this, uh, uh, this uh, situation that we're in right now as of February uh, 15th, Tuesday. Let's see how that works out. Again, like I always say, I just tell you what the cards uh, mean to me and uh, and then try to link them together to some sort of a coherent uh, message. And uh, if that's not the message you got, uh, let me know. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.